Okay, folks, um, we're making a shaving soap today. Now, I had tried to make a shaving soap once before. I have a video on here. It's actually my video, I think, called Dragon's Breath. Um, but what I've learned, actually, is what I made was really just a bath and body bar with bentonite clay. Um, did a lot of reading about it, and, you know, people who are into wet shaving and shaving soap um, have very sort of specific requirements. So, um, <clears throat> after a lot of reading, this is my redo of an actual shaving soap. Now, shaving soap actually uses both potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. So, and temperature is very important. So, um, because it has also a high concentration of stearic acid in it. Stearic acid melts around 115, so uh, I've been, uh, this is a little hotter than I normally soap. Um, so the temperature of my oils uh, right now, 127, and they're actually starting to thicken up a little bit on the bottom, so I'm gonna get moving here. I'll go over the recipe in a second. Um, and, uh, okay, so recipe. I've gone back and forth about this recipe um, because it's a pretty um, difficult thing, actually. So this is a small batch I'm testing. So my recipe is two ounces of castor oil, five ounces of beef tallow, four ounces of steric acid, three ounces of cocoa butter, two ounces of avocado oil. Now I have both potassium and, and sodium hydroxide. My sodium hydroxide is 0.86 ounces. My potassium hydroxide, 1.8 ounces. Water, 6.1 ounces. And then I have a little bit of fragrance I'm gonna use, which is a little mixture of my own blend here. All right, so this is probably gonna thicken pretty quickly um, from what I've read and seen. Um, I've debated with this recipe of actually having a higher concentration of steric acid. I've debated about the concentration of sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. What are the percentages of each? Um, and so this is why I'm doing kind of a test because this is my best guess. Okay, so my potassium and sodium hydroxide are already dissolved in here. Temperature of this 114, 113, and I'm going to put this in here. Okay, now I'm going to use the stick blender, but I'm, I anticipate I'm going to have to switch to Now, I'm, I'm not surprised at all because I, from what I've read, I, I figured this would thicken up very quickly. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit by, I'm going to do a lot by hand now. Uh, I'm going to add my fragrance oil in. All right, and I think I might try to use my whisk first. Okay, very thick. I'm gonna switch to my spatula. And um, it's very warm also. It's actually a little hard to hold on to this container. Okay, so this looks like if I were doing a regular soap, if like that it had riced. Um, 
So I got lots of little, it's very sort of grainy looking, like almost like porridge or oatmeal. Um, so I'm just going to stir through this, I think, a little bit. Now I have a round mold as actually a PVC pipe lined with um, some clear plastic. Uh, the plastic is actually um, from AC Moore, it's, if you go to the stencil section, they have blank stencils where you can make your own stencil. And so it's one of those. So it's just a very thin plastic. All right. I want to try stick blending again, just to see sort of how it goes here. Icy texture gone, uh, but it may stay like that, and uh, that's okay. I just wanted to make sure I was trying, and I think that's about it. So, okay, so this is um, my mold. I'm gonna, the plastic is much longer than the tube, uh, than my PVC pipe, so I'm gonna. So, so that's the plastic. As you can see, it's just a very thin film. All right. So I expect this to be a little messy. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I actually, I think I'm just going to try and uh, this is very warm right now. I should see what the temperature is actually. One forty one fifty. Yeah, one fifty. So it's pretty darn warm. This is actually a bigger batch than I am. I should have made maybe even a smaller batch, since this is really a, very much a test at the moment. Well, it smells very good. So, um, yeah, hold on.
All right. Um, I want to make room for this other, just this last little bit, but I also want to make sure I don't have any air bubbles. I probably should have tapped it down a little bit as I was going. Okay. All right. So uh, check back. So this is my experiment in shaving soap. Um, I kind of wanted to do colors, but again, like shaving folks, guys mostly, I guess, I should say, um, if you read the shaving forums, you know, they're not really big on additives to their um, shaving soap. Um, so I, you know, I did think about adding bentonite clay to this because it does add slip and make the shaving easier. Um, I think it gives like a, I have one soap that has bentonite clay in it. I feel like it gives it like a nice silky feel to the soap, but there are, you know, there are people out there shaving aficionados. Um, some are in the bentonite clay camp and some are not. And so for this first one, again, for this test, I'm sort of just erring on the side of less is more. Um, and these will be pretty small pucks. Although, see, this is what I'm worried about here on the side. You can see that there's sort of air bubbles. Um. All right, uh, I'm going to let that go, and I'm just going to let it sit out. I'm not putting it in the fridge or anything like that, um, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so after the break should be the unmolding. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, folks, so this is a <clears throat> follow-up to um, making my shaving soap. So I took it out of the mold. It wasn't super hard. Um, oh, let me backtrack. So I left it sit on the counter. It stayed very warm for a while. I, I let it sit there for several hours. I, and then once it was sort of cool, I put it in the refrigerator. It's been in the fridge for maybe two or three hours. And... Um, so I just took it out and unwrapped it from the plastic. Um, it didn't stick to the plastic too much, but I don't know if you can see, but I definitely have lots of sort of air pockets, which was what I was afraid of. But um, so it's it's still it does seem very firm though. So I'd like to cut it. Um, although it's only been let's see twelve nine. Um, let's see ten. About 14 hours, actually, since I made it. So it's very firm, although I think the fridge helped some firm things up a little bit more. And so these are just going to be samples anyway. Like I said, this wasn't, you know, I'm not sure that this will actually be kind of a shaving So We'll see how it works. So these are just little kind of pucks. Okay. All right, so that's that. I'm just gonna let these sit out to dry and cure for a little while. Um, they feel they feel kind of oily. Well, they could just be actually it could just be from coming out of the fridge. They're a little bit, and again, they're only 14 hours old, so. Um, the middles don't look full of air pockets or anything. It's just the sides. I don't know if you can see that the sides kind of got some in. Um, so, like that one. But the middles seem very firm. Okay. 
so my my mold was a little bit um, bigger than my cutter. Okay. Well, let's um let's uh try one right now, fresh out of the mold, just as an experiment, since this whole thing is sort of an experiment. Get my coffee cup out of the way. There's the mold. <clears throat> this is uh this is just the sheet of plastic I had it wrapped up in. The end of the, the mug there. Okay, so let's see what happens just fresh out of the mold. It's actually pretty firm. It makes a nice sort of creamy mist to it. I should try to bring down my shaving brush actually because this is not nothing's happening really. Well, I'm not really getting a lather, it's sort of like a cream. Um, it's very slippery though. So that's good. Okay. Well, anyway, um, that was my just my little experiment just to see what it was like right out of the mold. I have to um, get a brush and um, you know try a brush just with it fresh out of the mold, and then otherwise I'm going to let these cure for at least a little while, and then um, try them back. You know maybe I'll make another video in a week or so to update people about the status of them. So okay. Thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey everyone. <clears throat> this is a um, follow-up to my soap, my um, shaving soap. So this is um, this is the shaving soap about maybe close to two weeks after I made it. Um, I've been using it to shave with since um, I think probably 48 hours after I made it. Um, just because I'm impatient. But anyway, I wanted to show you as a follow-up sort of how it lathers. So I've been just adding just a little bit of water to the bowl and then um, dampening the brush a little bit. So this is a, a badger brush. Um, and I'm actually pretty pleased uh, with the lather, and I'm I'm certainly not like a shaving aficionado, but it seems to work very well, and gives a nice um, a nice sort of creamy, thick lather. Now I haven't done. I'd like to test it, you know, where I sort of just leave this for 20 minutes or 15 or whatever and see how it does. Um, so I haven't done that yet just to see how stable it is. But it feels good on my face and um, I like it. I think I'm actually, this, um, this uh, from the recipe was like a 60-40% uh, break between the sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. So I think I'm going to do some experiments on both the ratios of sodium hydroxide to potassium hydroxide as well as the amount of stearic acid in it. Um, 
because that's another big variable in addition to the the actual oils that you put in it but I'm gonna do probably some videos on testing those as well but I wanted to follow up with this for the lather so there it is okay thanks comments questions leave them below bye